All right, guys, Jar6, welcome back to the channel. Definitely appreciate you guys watching. So we're going to talk about holsters because a lot of you guys ask me about holsters. You know, which one is the best holster? And, you know, like every other video, I keep talking to you guys. There is no perfect holster. There is no perfect gun. There is no perfect system. It's just something that is going to work really well for you. But it's always going to be some things that you're not going to like. And there's always going to be things that you just like. So we, we kind of need to stay away from that mentality. You know, looking for the best thing. Because obviously, you're probably never going to find that. But again... A lot of you guys ask about holsters, so I'm going to give you a couple of, you know, a couple of things that I have learned from, from my, uh, I guess, my firearm history of buying guns and holsters, and uh, a couple of things why some of the holsters may work better than others. All right, guys, so the first thing is going to be what kind of system you want to carry, because there's a ton of different holsters. Now, you're going to have your basic outside the waistband holster you're also going to have your basic you know pocket holster and you're going to have your basic inside the waist holster something like this then you're going to have your uh, hybrid holsters kind of like kai did with leather in the back this ones tend to be very very comfortable for a lot of guys so again you're going to have to make a decision what are you going to uh what are you going to carry what kind of system you're going to use you know a lot of guys that do open carry this may be a great system but with that being said guys first of all let's take a look at this and this is what i carry nowadays clock 42 with a black hawk number three holster and i put it inside my pocket and one of the reasons why i like it is because it's extremely concealed so this system allows me to carry my gun very very concealed and again very very comfortable I don't even worry about it. It's in my front uh, right pocket, and it just sits there. Uh, again, very, very comfortable. I mean, I like it a lot. Now, one of the things that you're probably not going to like is the fact that it's a pocket holster. So you're not going to have the ability to draw that gun as fast as having an outside the waistband holster. Again, you're not going to have that ability. So you're going to have to have some type of situation or awareness. If you see something, you know, <laughs> something about to happen, Maybe having your hand close to your pocket may be a good idea. It's going to save you a couple of seconds. Now, this holster right here, guys, I like it a lot. I've done a video on this holster. I'll link it down below. But one of the things that I don't like is that when you draw your pistol out of your pocket, typically it's going to stay in, uh, it's going to come with the, uh, with the gun. So again, as you draw this pistol, you're going to have this pocket holster attached to the pistol, which you're going to have to rip out out of the gun but again guys there's so many pocket holsters out there that they actually sell that work better than this this is just one of them i like it like i said but again you have to decide what type of system you're going to carry so from there you could decide what kind of holster you're going to buy all right guys so from there we go to the outside of the waistband holster and this is a very common holster this is a full kaiden holster the guy that used to make these holsters is not in business anymore. And I got to tell you guys, I, I don't even know why, because he made great holsters. I really like this one. And this is how it looks right here, guys. This is a Glock 19. It looks amazing. And one of the things that I like about this type of holsters is that, again, it's pretty comfortable. You know, as long as you have a good belt that is going to hold this weight right here, it's going to be extremely comfortable to carry this gun, especially if you do something like up and carry. A lot of guys do this. Now, keep in mind, guys, this holster has no retention. So you're going to have to make sure you, again, maintain situational awareness. You don't want somebody grabbing your gun when you're not paying attention. But again, guys, look at this. Retention is just amazing. It retains amazing. It just draws really nice. It just works really well. Again, for some of you guys trying to conceal this, maybe in the winter, or maybe in a, in, pretty much in the winter, maybe a place that you actually wear a jacket, you will be able to conceal this well. But down here, I mean, it's so hot that you won't be able to conceal this uh, at all. I mean, you're just going to print unless you're wearing a shirt over or some jacket, like I said, you're going to print. So this would not be a good choice for that. But again, as a primary holster for some type of survival situation, uh, you know, some type of, of combat or whatever type of situation, if you want to, if you prepare for something, having a holster like this is extremely critical because again, it allows you to carry a really nice pistol really well. And again, you could draw this gun really, really nice. All right, guys. So going into the inside of the waistband. Now, I used this holster for a long time. This is a cheapo holster that I got a while ago, maybe like two years ago. 
and it works okay. And what I like about this one in particular is that it allows you to carry uh, the Glock 17, the Glock 19. You know, you could fit more than one Glock uh, in this in this holster. So I kind of like that if you have a lot of guns if you have a lot of uh, Holsters having a holster that kind of gives you the ability to use different pistols or you know, different sizes of, of pistols is it, a good idea. It saves you money, but again This holster is okay again. I'm gonna link uh, links videos down below is now the best is it, it won't be my primary choice but again, this is just showing you I know the system. This is just showing you another choice that you may get. You could get something like this inside the waistband, very, very minimum. I mean, you're not gonna carry a lot of things and it's very easy to carry. This is very common for a lot of guys out there uh, that carry guns, something like this. Again, you could put it, put it on in your pants, take it out, put it in top of a dresser, wherever you put your gun, Take it, take it again. Put in your uh, put in your belt. So it's very very easy to carry. And believe it or not, it's kind of comfortable. So another choice you could pretty much find holsters like this for about thirty to sixty dollars. Depends who's the maker. Depends how much to charge and, and things like that. But this kind of tends to be what I like. I like carrying small Kaida holsters that are very easy to carry. Again, that's my preference. That's kind of what I like, right, guys. So lastly, I got this hybrid right here. And again, this type of holsters are really nice. A lot of people enjoy them. Uh, me, personally, not as much. And mainly because, uh, I wouldn't say it's a pain to put it on, but it's not as easy as a small kite that holster. I mean, you're going to have to undo your pants, and, you know, put, the, put the, the, the holster inside. Use this clip piece right here. But again, once you put that holster on, uh, it is extremely easy to carry and it's very comfortable. That's what I typically hear from everyone. A lot of people like this type of holster. This one actually belongs to, to little brother and he loves it. And one of the things that you will see here, just looking at the holster, it barely has retention. And I got to tell you guys, that's not a big deal because once you put it on and this thing kind of flex, you're going to see here kind of flex and you put your belt, uh, you know, tied up your belt, it's going to retain the pistol very well. And I always hear that this is extremely comfortable. Again, this leather back here is going to be touching your skin, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be comfortable to carry. I don't know, I don't know what else to tell you, but a lot of people enjoy this one. Now, this one's typically are a little bit pricier, uh, more pricey than than all the holsters that typically run for seventy to eighty dollars uh, out there in the market. But again, this is another choice. All right, guys. So I show you a bunch of different choices up here. Again, I get this questions all the time. Which one is the best holster? Which one is, is, is you know, a lot of guys ju just don't want to spend money. A lot of guys want to get the right gun with the right holster and not spend any money. And I got to tell you guys, to, to, to answer that question here in the video, uh, it is unrealistic to think that way because every person is different. You're going to have to buy a gun and you're going to have to go through it. You're going to have to buy holsters and you're going to have to go through them. And eventually you're going to make the decision which one works for you. Like I say, I like the little Kaida holsters. I like pocket carrying. But a lot of people are not cool with this. A lot of people don't like this type of systems. And a lot of people would prefer to carry something like this with a full side gun. So again, guys, it's going to be up to you. You're going to have to buy a gun, you're going to have to buy a bunch of holsters, and you're going to have to come out with that decision. Which one is the best holster for you? I know what works for me. I don't know what works for you. Hopefully, I show you a few holsters, kind of gave you an idea of the holsters that are out there in the market. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. As always, if you like this type of videos, click like, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and God is in control.